the permissions that you configure inside Google Drive, I tend to use distribution groups for rather than organizational units because organizational units, primary purpose inside of Google Workspace is setting permissions for different levels of access to resources and different settings inside the admin panel. I'm confused about the OU and group setup. Is shared drive in OU with group allowed access? Do the members of the group have to be in the OU? If so, can they access shared drives in other OUs? Okay, the way that we set up permissions inside of Google Workspace in Google Drive is a little bit different to what you're suggesting. It's not strictly based on the organizational units that are built into Google Workspace. So first up, before I get into this, it's important to understand that there are two types of groups inside of Workspace. There are your organizational units and those organizational units can be used for some security group features. But number two, there are distribution groups and those email-based distribution groups are very handy for using for permissions. And so the permissions that you configure inside Google Drive, I tend to use distribution groups for rather than organizational units because organizational units, primary purpose inside of Google Workspace is setting permissions for different levels of access to resources and different settings inside the admin panel. Let me show you the difference and how they work. So I'm going to jump into my admin panel here, accessing the admin panel via admin.google.com. Here, we're going to go and look for my organizational units. So that's in our directory and then organizational units. So here you can see we've got multiple organizational units inside our account. And as an example, when I click onto the users menu, you'll see in those organizational units, I can have separate staff living inside those organizational units. Now we can apply particular policies to these organizational units. So for example, if I want to jump into my password management policy, you'll see here that across the company, we have strong passwords enforced and we have a password policy expiry of every 30 days. And that's because the staff in our business are handling a lot of customer information. We want to be really stringent with how quickly we cycle passwords for our staff, just in case there was any chance of a breach for our business. However, for executives who are handling less customer information, we have that expiry set currently for once per year. So that's the duration that we have those cycled for. Now you'll see at the top level, I've set a policy. By default, if I go to any of the other organizational units, it's just going to basically use the main policy unless otherwise configured. So it's going to revert to the parent policy. But in the executive here, I've chosen, and you'll see here it says overridden, I've chosen to overwrite the policy here. So let's go to another one where it's been inherited. This password management has been inherited. If I chose to change for the attract team here, that would override this and that's going to change that password policy to overridden. Okay, I won't do any more on that for now. Let's move on to setting up the groups where the groups are. So to set up a group, they live here in your groups in directory. And groups are where we set permissions that we then apply to our Google Drive. So you'll see here that I've got a group for Attract, which is our marketing team. You'll be able to see there's 10 members in the marketing team and it has its own dedicated email address. And we apply these to our shared drives. So if I jump into my shared drives here, all the drives for the company here for the different areas of business, if I go to our Attract team shared drive and I go to my members, You'll see here there's six groups that have been added here and you'll see the group that I showed you in the admin panel has been added and they are set with a particular level of access. Now we've got executives in a group, they have a higher access. We've also got some external contractors in there. These all have the appropriate access. So organizational units tend to be used for settings in your admin panel and applying policies to groups of users in the admin panel. Distribution groups or directory groups tend to be used for permissions. 